our hearing gets affected by the three different states that we're in. Based on the fight or flight model, if you have a lion chasing a gazelle, it's going to flood with adrenaline and this is going to dramatically change the way it hears. And if the lion actually catches up with the gazelle, the gazelle is going to go into shock and it'll go into immobilization response, freezing response or overwhelm. So I'm going to talk about how three different states of being affects our hearing when we're well, when we're in fight or flight, or when we're in freezing response or overwhelm. When we're in a good space, we are feeling safe and we are in touch with our body and we experience the world from within our own skin bag. We have the ability to think, but it's not racing. And we usually have a good sense of well-being within our experience. So we can feel our energy, we can feel our strengths, and we can normally feel quite comfortable. In this state of well-being, our hearing, naturally, is very, very good at focusing. So we can go to a pub and we can focus on a one-to-one -one conversation without any problems at all and filter out all the background hubbub. And our ears are quite happy subconsciously hearing the wind in the trees or a baby crying, but we can be blissfully unaware of it consciously. So our nervous system filters out a lot of the irrelevant and unimportant stuff. But if you bring in a lion, oh, and it's dangerous, or you're living with a bully, or you're having a really difficult time in a court case, or you've suddenly been sent to work in a country which feels scary and dangerous and new, you're going to be in an activated state, and your adrenal levels will be up, and your, your hearing automatically is going to be listening out for danger. When we're in this state of active alert or arousal, nervous sympathetic arousal, fight or flight, a red alert, our hearing will be much, much more sensitive and we're going to be listening out and detecting much, much more than normal. It's no longer safe and our ears need to know if the lion's over in that corner or where the threat is coming from. So whether we like it or not, we're going to be listening out too acutely. Our ears are going to be like they are acting in a, in a they are very big and they're picking up far more than we're normally used to. And so we end up listening to the noise of the central nervous system. In this state, our thinking becomes much, much more dominant and our thoughts kind of take over a bit. It's almost like our thinking mind becomes much louder. Everything becomes much more acute and it's quite hard to get away from our thoughts and it's very hard to get away from listening out for danger. So the tiniest noise or the tiniest suggestion of something and we really react. If the lion actually catches up with us or if we feel trapped by a life situation or we've experienced abuse or we've become traumatized from some awful event or we've had a massive invasive procedure that's really had taken its toll, for example, a big operation or a car crash, we can go into freezing response and overwhelm. This is extremely adrenal, and we are listening out so acutely that the danger is actually upon us, and we can kind of give up and implode, and the body goes numb, we space out, and there's a sense of awfulness, dread, we have panic attacks, and it's a really horrible space to be in. When we're overwhelmed or in this freezing response or in parasympathetic shock, there are many different names for this, our hearing gets so super sensitized that it's a classic territory for tinnitus. We're just living in that state the whole time, listening out ultra acutely, and not only do we end up hearing the noise of our central nervous system, but in extreme cases, we can end up hearing our internal thinking processes so loudly that it's almost like having voices in your head. You're hearing voices 
is being so super stressed that your own thought processes sound like voices that are speaking to you. And in this state as well, um, you get earworms. So somebody says something, it just goes round and round, a repeated message again and again. Or the doorbell rings and you keep on ring, hearing it ringing all afternoon. Or um, a piece, a jingle on the TV or on the radio just goes round and round and round. It's really hard to switch the music off inside your head. Or it's hard to stop thinking. Or it's hard to stop hearing the voices of our own mind. So I just wanted to show that if we're in well-being, fight or flight or freezing response, our hearing changes dramatically and tinnitus is built on this foundation. So if you can get yourself to settle and get therapeutic interventions to help your nervous system feel calm and safe again, your perceptions will change dramatically and reset themselves automatically back to normal. In a way, you don't need to worry about your hearing. I know that sounds ironic. You need to worry about getting well-being and safety back inside your experience. If you can achieve that, then the prognosis is very good.